the Dominican Republic is, is very hot and humid. Um, it's you're always sweating uh, from the moment you wake up to the moment you go to bed, and even sometimes while you're sleeping, uh, the electricity will go out, and your fan, which you always have a fan on you when when you're sleeping, just so you, so you can cool down a little bit. But sometimes the, the electricity will go out, and the little generators you have in your house will will run out of battery too, and your fans will die, and you find yourself sweating. One of my biggest tips for missionaries preparing to leave would be uh, to actually buy the like small uh, mini uh, fans, battery powered. They use like D-sized batteries. You can buy them, I'm pretty sure, at like Walmart or Target, I think is where we bought ours. Um, and it really helps as well, especially because it's so portable. Uh, if you're cooking at lunchtime or if you're just at your desk studying, you can just take that fan with you and have it always have it on you. That way you're not sweating while you're doing your personal study or while you're cooking food uh, because it is very hot and humid there. As well, there are a lot of mosquitoes there. Because it is so hot and humid, mosquitoes are just everywhere. Um, my dad and I would often joke that the, the national bird of the Dominican Republic is the mosquito because <laughs> they're, they're everywhere. And there are also a lot of mosquito-borne illnesses like chikungunya, dengue, uh, the Zika virus. Um, a lot of those are, are thought of to, um, a lot of people think that, that those are mosquito-borne illnesses. And I actually, while I was on my mission, I got a few of those, those sicknesses. And the biggest piece of advice that I'd give people is just always be wearing bug spray. And as well, make sure you sleep with a mosquito net. A lot of people didn't do that on their mission. And because of that, a lot of people would get those sicknesses. But my biggest piece of advice would just be uh, make sure you set up that mosquito net around your bed just so you're not getting bitten while you're asleep. Um, another thing, in the Dominican Republic, uh, there actually are a lot of things that you can get in the Dominican Republic that you can get here in America. I know my mom always worried about me not being able to find uh, like food in the supermarket or things like that. Um, however, there are actually pretty big supermarkets or grocery stores that you can go to. Um, that are actually pretty well, well stocked and have a lot of things that you can get. Um, like we could always get cereal there. There weren't a, there wasn't a big selection of cereal, but there was cereal and other things like that that you can find here in America, which I was really grateful for.